Hey, it's John Carlton, and I have here your second lesson in our interactive Simple Writing System Express course. In lesson number one, if you'll recall, we looked into what your perfect prospect might say in a very real situation. You were in a bar, minding your own business, and a guy comes up and explains to the bartender why he's having such a bad day. And what he says explains exactly the problem or need that what you offer fixes. Now, I hope you took advantage of the interactive comments section and looked at the feedback from myself and the other professional writers from the Simple Writing System faculty. Now, let's move on to lesson number two, your elevator chat. We're still in the bar with Bob, the guy who walked up and stated his reason for being totally bummed out. You, of course, have perked up because he has just identified himself as a perfect prospect for what you offer. What you do next is critical. You must be able to handle this situation well. And I'll help you out here because most marketers, not just some, but most, screw it up. And they ruin the opportunity to sell to even their perfect prospect. Think about this for a moment. What you say now determines the success or failure of this interaction. If you cannot sell to a perfect prospect, someone who openly needs what you offer and who is right there next to you, then you sure as heck aren't going to be able to sell to someone else either, especially through an ad or a website or a video or anything less personal than this hypothetical face-to-face -face situation. Luckily, I've got a nice little shortcut for you here, which, which instantly connects you to your prospect in the best possible way. And it works like crazy whether, whether you're standing next to him or communicating through that ad, video, website, or any other medium. Let me set this up for you. It's important to remember that this perfect prospect is a stranger. He doesn't know you, doesn't trust you, and he's not in the mood to be sold or pitched or even talked to nicely. He's in some level of trauma because he has a problem or a need that is interfering with his life. He may be building a playhouse for his kids out back and can't complete it until he finds the right kind of nail. That's a minor problem, but it stopped him cold in his task. Or he may have serious health troubles that came on suddenly and his entire life is on hold until he finds a solution. That's a major problem. Or it may be something in between those extremes. The thing is, he has a problem and you have a solution. And now it's your job to help him become aware of this fact without scaring him off or making him suspicious or, if you really were in a bar, getting in a fight. So what do you do? You at most have a couple of seconds to get on his radar and deliver enough relevant information that will sneak past his natural tendency to ignore you or walk away or online to simply lower his finger to his mouse and click you out of his world. Okay, let's get down to it. In real life, you might excuse yourself by saying something like, excuse me, but I couldn't help overhearing. In an ad or a video, you don't need to do that. However, the attitude you present here is the same. You must be very respectful of your prospect's time and, and especially respectful of his attention span. Again, because you have mere seconds. So here's the shortcut formula for getting right to the point. We call it your elevator chat. Why the elevator chat? Because you must be able to explain clearly and without hemming and hawing enough about who you are and what you do, positioned in a way that gets his attention and stirs his interest in the time it takes an elevator to go from the ninth floor to the first floor, mere seconds. Most marketers can't clearly explain this in half an hour. They don't have a clear idea in their head about what they do and how to best present it to even their most perfect prospect. So here's the formula. We help this group of people do this benefit better, cheaper, faster, or easier, even if worst case believable scenario. So what we've done here is broken this down. We help blank, do blank, blank, even F blank. Now, I'll give you some examples. Uh, let's see, in a, what we're going to do is give you some examples which are very tight statements that help you stay completely within the problem as expressed by your perfect prospect. Now, um, go back to the bar. Let's say Bob said he was bummed out because his business wasn't making any sales. 
This happens to be right up my alley, by the way. So after excusing myself for interrupting, I would say I help small business owners and entrepreneurs create their first killer conversations that bring in the big bucks, even if they flunked English or are scared to death of writing. And because it's me, I might also add, and I've been doing it for over 25 years. Let's do another example. Let's say Bob complained that his golf game sucked and he was tired of being humiliated by his buddies every time they played. If you had a product that addressed this problem, you might come back with, we help golfers with huge handicaps to immediately start hitting long, straight, gorgeous tee shots and score so low they win all the money from their buddies, even if you've been slicing, hooking, sculling, hacking, and putting like a baboon your entire life. Here's another example. Bob is depressed because his tax bill is outrageous and he thinks he's paying too much. If you had a service that addressed tax accounting for certain sized businesses, you might say this. We help understaffed business owners grossing one to ten million a year to pay the least amount of taxes legally owed each year without adding a minute of extra work to your day, even if your bookkeeping is a total disaster area right now. Are you getting the idea? Here's another example. We help broke people buried in debt to get out of debt within a short time and have more money in your pocket without taking on another job or borrowing. Works even if you have no understanding of finances or economics whatsoever. Here's another. We help overweight people to lose 20 to 30 pounds of body fat within one month without without ever feeling hungry or deprived or sweaty from exercise. Works faster than any diet you've ever tried. Now, do you see how simple this system is, this formula? We help this group of people do this benefit, better, cheaper, faster, easier, even if, and then give the worst case believable scenario. Great marketers love to work within a system, and that's what this formula is. Something that lays out uh, each each uh, step like a checklist systematically. So you just plug in your info and you're on your way. I've used this shortcut to eliminate the mumbling and incoherence of business owners and entrepreneurs who've come to me desperate for a clear way to tell prospects what they have. It's a simple little tactic that packs the power to, to deliver the attention of prospects directly to you. Many of the, most, uh, the best and most profitable ads ever created, by the way, did little more than use this shortcut to get attention and then close the sale with another simple shortcut. And we'll get to that simple shortcut in the next lesson. You'll like it. Closing the sale is where Mr. Prospect becomes Mr. Customer and gives you money. Because as fun as it is to get the attention of your target audience, you aren't successful until you've closed the sale. Right now, though, why don't you give this shortcut a try yourself? In the comments section here, write out what you believe your elevator chat might be. Just like last time, several professional ad writers from the official Simple Writing System faculty, including me, will read every post and will give feedback on selected posts. We, we try to pick the best ones that present the best example of a learning situation. and we, So we can't do this for everyone, but we're committed to doing as much as we can. Get busy and post your response below in the comments. You've already seen how much high-level feedback we offer here. It's a true opportunity to take your game up several levels. Right here, right now. And I'll be back with Lesson 3 very soon.